while coding my latest application, I noticed something about the request class from Laravel that I think not a lot of people know about. So if I run PHP stand on this project right now, you can see that PHP stand is complaining that the create chat message action handle method expects a string, but mix was given. So if I click on the handle method of this action, I do indeed accept a content string. However, my request content property is literally mixed. Okay, this typically happens because effectively um, PHP stand doesn't know the type of this content and another lot of L does as well. So I'm going to tell you a tip which you can literally instruct PHP stand about the given type without any PHP annotations. Just watch this out. So basically, every time you are interacting with the request class from Laravel, you can call this helper methods that Laravel provides for you. This one is called string, and it literally says whatever is within content converts that to a string. Okay, and now if I do this, I will get a stringable object from Laravel, and I can call the value to properly cast that to a string native type in PHP. So if I run PHP stand now, you'll see the PHP stand will be very happy about my code. And I'm running PHP stand at level max. So we are literally writing type safe code. Now, the request class doesn't only have this string method, actually in fact have a bunch of them. So if I click here, for example, you can see that I have, for example, integer where you can provide uh, obviously you know, something like age and get the value as well. This will basically turn you back a proper int, int native type of uh, PHP. There is many others. You can literally, for example, convert uh, an array, for example, of tags into a specific collection, which is pretty cool. Now, all of this is provided by default on Laravel. And the only thing you have to do is instead of accessing directly the property just like this, just be sure to cast that to an integer. So PHP stand is super happy about the return type. Now, a question that you may have is if we are casting the given key to string, what is even the goal of something like validation? Well, First of all, you cannot try to cast something to string without validating that the given key is in fact a string. So if I click, for example, on create chat message request, uh, the first thing I'm doing is, first of all, ensure that the key is indeed there. Then I'm also checking that the key is a string. And finally, I'm checking as well if the key have at least anything that makes sense. For example, something in between of um, for example, something in between two and 100 and 1000. So once I'm sure about not only the type, but also um, the minimum and the max value of the value, I can safely cast that to a string using the string method. And finally, because this is returning a stringable, I can cast that as well to a native type in PHP, the string type, and make this way my PHP stand happy. What's up everyone, it's Nunu here, and if you are enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's free, supports the channel, but also keeps you in the loop for the latest videos. Don't miss out and hit that subscribe button now. Now, a question that you may have while watching this video is, why in the world I have this PHP annotation on top of request user? Well, there is a reason for this, it's not out of nowhere. Basically, every time I'm calling something like request user, Laravel doesn't know if I have rendered this through the auth method or not, uh, through the auth middleware. Therefore, the return type is effectively uh, something like, oops, let me go there. Therefore, the return type from user will be either user or no. So what I'm doing is literally telling PHP stand that you can trust me and you can trust my word and the return type from this method will always be a user type. Uh, and this happens because I effectively have the middleware auth under my, um, under my uh, chat uh, um, routing. As you can see here, I have middleware auth, which will ensure that every single time I'm calling this user, the return type will always be effectively a user model. So from this point, PHP stand will trust me and assume that this will always be a user. And for example, if I call this query get, PHP stand that knows that the given type is effectively a user, okay? And by the way, 
the request class from Laravel is not the only one with this kind of helpers. Um, so for example, the config class also allows you to basically fetch type safe uh, properties from your configuration file. Let me show you an example. So here, for example, if I run PHP stand, PHP stand will not, will not know what exactly is API key. And it will tell you probably that this is a mixed type. Uh, and pretty much you will be forced to kind of cast this somehow to make PHP stand happy. So what you can do is you can do something like this, which is called a string method, provide openai.api key, and Laravel behind the scenes will cast to string whatever is within this uh, configuration option, which is pretty cool.